All right, so I'm here going to show you guys how to actually use Insight to plug into a Cummins. Uh, one of the main things is remember to turn the ignition switch on. You don't need the truck running, just have it on. Pull up your Insight here. Then you're going to go up here on the top left where it says connect to your ECM and click on that. And then you come down here and click connect again. Sometimes it'll be quick, sometimes it takes a little bit, but it'll eventually connect here. Alright, now that we're into it, um, just basic you know, functions here, you go to like your fault codes. And it'll bring up any code that's in here, inactive or active, tell you how many counts, so on and so forth. Um... Like here when it says all are inactive, usually the very bottom inactive code was the last active code. So that way you know what the last one went up for. Um, like I said, this one here we got throttle control actuator. This has got dual steer, dual throttle pedals. And a lot of times when they flip back and forth between the switch, um, drivers ain't the smartest and they'll, uh, <laughs> they won't shut it down like they're supposed to. And then you get codes for that. Um, but like I said, then after you fix your issue here, like I said, I went after the fuel leak, um, now that it's all active. Um, up here in the top, you'll have a little hand pushing on a button. And if you hold the mouse over that, it says reset. And uh, that's how you reset and clear out your inactive faults after you fix the issue. Click on the yes. And then just follow the prompts that it tells you, like here, shut the ignition off. Then go ahead and click OK. And then you're just going to wait out your time. There I go, I skipped ahead a little bit for you so you guys didn't have to watch this boring thing load. But now after it reaches its time here, again, follow the prompt on the screen. Turn the key back on. Let it cycle through. Then click OK. And then after it's all said and done, everything should just clear right out. Just like so. <clears throat> then you can uh, exit out of the fault here. And there's so many other things here. You know, if you want to go through features and parameters, you go in and that's where you can change all your different parameters. You know, top speed, governor set, you know, cruise control on and off you know different things like that you know I can go into that further detail if anybody's interested on that just let me know um, another thing a lot of the times when you get into these <clears throat> it'll prompt you if there's an updated calibration um, if not you know click on your calibration here and you can always go up and click on uh, the search just to see if it does have an active calibration in it <clears throat> most of the time it doesn't but um, doesn't hurt to do so just uh, double check it make sure that it's up to, up to snuff on this here but if this actual truck needed one it would come up say that there is one then you could hit the save button and then we could recalibrate it but as of right now there is no active calibration that's needed so we'll just exit out of here and then if you click again on calibration selection um, that goes away but then after you're done with all this all you got to do then is just go back up to disconnect from the ECM and then uh, when that's all said and done there it's done you're disconnected you can turn the key back off take your computer and everything out of the truck and uh, move on to the next uh, stupid job that one of the drivers probably screwed up um, like I said, any other questions, comments, or anything you guys want me to look into, um, let me know. This is one of the first videos I'm trying here. Hopefully I can help some of the guys out. Um, I had no help starting this, so I figure if I can help somebody else out, that's what I'm here for. Thank you.